Today we're going to look at how we can run codeception tests on various interpreters within PHP Storm. We're going to cover, eventually, local interpreters, a remote interpreter with Vagrant, and a remote interpreter with Docker. This video will cover running codeception tests with local interpreter. So the project we're going to work with today is called Bolt, and it's a really nice, uh, simple CMS built on Silex. And to it, the, the great thing about Bolt is it's open source, but it also has its acceptance test suite written entirely in Codeception, which is really nice for our purposes of demoing Codeception. So when we run Codeception tests within PHP unit, we need to do three things, the same as we do when we run PHP unit tests. We need to configure a PHP interpreter, then we need to configure Codeception's location, and then we need to create a run configuration. And this is fairly straightforward, so let's just make a start and do it. So if we open the settings and go to PHP, we need to first add an interpreter, and I'm going to add an interpreter here. Now you can see that PHP Storm's detected my interpreters. I have tens installed of different versions. So let's just select the newest version of PHP 7.1, and that's all we need to do. PHP Storm's detected everything for us. Um, I'm just gonna add the word local on the end just to make this um, easier to detect, and then we can click okay. And then the next thing that I would like to do is to, um, to configure Codeception. So we just go to Codeception and we've already got local here. Uh, so I just need to tell um, PHP Storm exactly where Codeception is located. So it's in the bolt directory, vendor bin, Codeception, Codecept. And then we can refresh and you can see it's detected that. So that's all I need to do in the settings. And then the third and final thing we need to do is to edit the configurations and add a new run configuration for Codeception. Now, like all windows, we can start typing here to filter nicely. And let's call it local codecept. And then we are lucky in as much as we already, because Codeception already splits our tests up into three types, we can just use the type drop down. We don't need to define any configuration files. PHP Storm knows that Codeception automatically uses a codeception.yaml file and parses it for us. So literally all we need to do in the drop down is to say, yeah, just run all my tests and that's it. We can now run the tests by clicking the play run configuration. So the tests are run and you can see all 428 tests passed in just under 20 seconds. And just like with um, PHP unit, we now get the benefit of being able to use PHP Storm's navigation and run features right within our IDE. So for example, if we want to look at a first user test, I can navigate there using um, command down on Windows, F4 on Windows and Linux. And then you can see the test right here. You can see that this is the test and we can navigate there right from the test results. Um, just like with PHP unit, we can also just use PHP Storm to run specific tests or sets of tests. So in this instance, let's just run this create first user test on its own. So I've just right clicked for the context menu um, and then run first user test test. And you can see that it creates the configuration for me up here and just runs that one test, which is really nice. So if we just wanna run one test, we can just do that easily with a run configuration. Now, Bolt, while it's a really cool product, it doesn't, it uses um, a module to, to dispatch the Silex application. So it doesn't actually use a web server and a headless browser. It mocks the dispatching and then passes the response, which is really neat and really quick and like the power of Codeception. But quite often our acceptance tests will be using a web browser and will be using a web server. So let's take a quick look at how we can do that. So I have this really simple Symfony app and you can see in the browser this all it displays is Symfony 3.2.8, the version I'm running. And then I have a really, really simple um, acceptance test that we can see if I go into home page set. And literally all it does is says, I wanna check the home page displays the correct Symfony version. So if I'm on page forward slash, I should see the text, Symfony 3.2.8, and we can configure this. I have the web browser running, you can see it's working in the browser here, but we can run this really easily as well. So anything that even uses the web browser and the headless um, the headless browser, you can see I'm just using the bundled PHP browser here, and I've given it the correct URL. We can do exactly the same thing. So I just need to do the same three steps. First, I pick my PHP interpreter. We've already configured that, and we didn't define it as a project level interpreter, so I can just select that straight from this drop down. Then we need to tell this project where to find Codeception. Now that will be in, uh, instead of it being in Bolt, it'll be in Symfony App Vendor Bin, 
code sept, so it's the same place. I'm just telling this project where to where to find it, and then we just create a run configuration for this pro project. And again, because codeception is so simple, I can just tell it to type and all, and I don't really need to do anything else. That's that's all I need to do. And away we go. We can run these tests, and you can see one test is run and it's worked correctly. Perfect. So it's fairly easy and straightforward if you're using a local interpreter. We'll cover um, remote interpreters in the next couple of episodes. So we'll cover a vagrant interpreter and a Docker interpreter, which is a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Today we're going to look at how we can run codeception tests on various interpreters within PHP Storm. We're going to cover, eventually, local interpreters, a remote interpreter with Vagrant, and a remote interpreter with Docker. This video will cover running codeception tests with local interpreter.